Welcome to the podcast. My name is James Williams. I work for the Southern California News Group. I got a great show for you guys today. It has been a busy summer for me, and since my last podcast, I've covered quite a few events, including the College League of Legends Championship and the NBA Awards, where James Harden was named the MVP after his season with the Houston Rockets. Prior to the actual award show, I had the opportunity to hang out on the red carpet and interview former Defensive Player of the Year Ben Wallace, Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics, and now two-time NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors, JaVale McGee, who has recently signed with the Los Angeles Lakers in free agency. Speaking of NBA free agency and the Lakers, the decision by LeBron James to spend the next part of his career here in Los Angeles has been the talk of the town. The Lakers also signed Rajon Rondo as a free agent, with the intention of him competing for the starting point guard spot against Lonzo Ball. Only time will tell what to make out of this offseason for the Lakers and how deep of a playoff run they'll be able to make during the upcoming season. But a league that is just starting playoff action is the Overwatch League. There are two quarterfinal series that took place and started on Wednesday, the first being the Philadelphia Fusion taking on the Boston Uprising. The second quarterfinal series involved the LA Gladiators and the London Spitfire. Despite not having Fisher, one of the best players on the Gladiators roster in the starting lineup, LA managed to sweep the Spitfire in the first match of the series. Following the victory, I had the opportunity to talk to Aaron Bishu Kim about a number of topics, including the playoffs. With that said, I won't hold this intro any longer. Here is my conversation with Bishu. Bishu, nice, nice to have you here. Um, like we just mentioned, you you were sick at one point during the the first the the latter stages there of the, of the season. Tell me, are, how are you feeling now? Are you oh feeling yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm feeling great now. It's just like it's really it's kind of annoying because um well one I can't I can't I physically can't play so that's like really annoying but uh. Mm. It's just like, another thing is, um, I was like just starting to gain weight, and then every time I'm sick, I like lose 20 pounds, and I was like, ah, all my progress. Um, I mean, can you, was it like the flu, or was it? Oh, no, I have like a stomach condition called ah, ulcerative colitis, okay. and it basically like, just every now and then decides to like bleed heavily. Ah, <laughs> so that's something you had, or had to do? Yeah, yeah, for like okay. two years now, oh, but... Okay. It's just like something I just have to live with, so gotcha. I don't. I try not to make a big deal out of it mm-hmm. because it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with. Okay. Um, an impressive win by you guys today. Hell yeah. Um, I mean, we know F- Fisher wasn't there for you guys. Um, at the whole game, I guess, right? He didn't even play. What What adjustments did you guys have to make? How, I mean, how far in advance did you guys know? Did you guys have enough time to? Yeah, I mean, it was like it wasn't that big of a deal mm-hmm. uh, because. Our team has a, like, a very good infrastructure, in my opinion. Like, the mm-hmm. coaches did a really good job, like, build, building, like, a lot of basics. So, it didn't really matter what player we had, because every other player knew exactly what to do. Mm-hmm. Because we practiced so much, we didn't even get a break. Well, okay, we did, <laughs> okay. we did, we did. But, you know, it's just like, it wasn't enough, man. Right, and, then, right, right. and then at first, we are just, uh, uh, you know, it was, like, a little bit confusing, but it, it took, like, I would say, like, three, four days to mm-hmm. really, really get back into our rhythm. And then from there, we are just, like, getting better. And having, tell me a little bit about Remix, having him in the starting lineup. Uh, personally, I, I think, um, communication is slightly different, but in the end, like, this, this stage, to be honest, uh, the main thing doesn't have as much impact, and it's more about just, like, communicating to your team properly, knowing what the plan is exactly so you're never lost, and, and just being in the, being in the right position. Right. And uh, Remix learned very quick. He he was he was incredibly motivated. He put a lot of effort in. I'm really proud of him. Uh, I don't know. It's just like like the first map we had today. Uh, that was like the original roster, right? It wasn't okay. like when right. we first started. Mm-hmm. So. So that, to me, that felt really good. That was your that was like uh, before because you guys traded for Fisher. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys didn't have Void until that. Stage four, right? Stage, yeah, yeah. Stage, stage four. We stage had it four. since stage three, but right, we were right, able right. to play at stage four. So I mean, that was a throwback lineup for you guys, then, right? Hell yeah. So I mean, how, what? 
was that just something, I mean, you guys have been, you guys are pretty much day one, so it's like, mm -hmm. did that, is that what kind of showed out there today? Because you know, I don't think any of our players doubted for one moment. Mm -hmm. Our practice went incredibly well. Um, there were, there were doubts at first, because like, it was just something new, right? But... Everyone, everyone like learned so. F I'm like so fucking proud of my team. Like they just, they just like I, I improved too. But like, they just knew or everyone like put effort, extra effort in, mm -hmm. and then they just like put way more effort into just like learning the game, asking questions. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, just um, I don't know. I just like <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> I, really good, man. No, uh, no, no. I mean, I don't. I would. I would hope so. <laughs> and it was like really. It was like a really cool moment for me when I but. Uh, when we got to Junker Town and the map was about to start, mm -hmm. and I, I should have been paying attention to the game, but <laughs> I just remember that one like the for our first match against like London in mm -hmm. preseason, and I'm just like quickly thinking like okay five seconds, and just like ha it was incredible how much everyone improved. Like we we're always like the mm -hmm. underdogs. Uh, I wasn't very good on stage one. Um, a lot of a lot of our players were like, uh, like some of them were good to start with, but like. For example, me, I, I wasn't really that good in stage, like, one and two, I would say. So, I just, like, it, I felt so good being, feeling so ready for this match, and I was so fucking confident going in. <laughs> so, I like, so it seems like you're, maybe now you're kind of looking back at it, your confidence may not have been, in your own game personally, in stage one and two, what, what, what did you do to help, to improve uh, as the season went along, what what went right for you in order to help you get to where you're at now? There's a lot of factors, but I mean, I think it was meant, it was, it was uh, a lot to do with me shifting my mentality. Mm -hmm. Because not gonna lie, like towards the end of stage two, I was like pretty depressed. I was like, man, like I'm not improving as fast as I need to be. What what can I change? And then it's like, oh, am I just like not fit for it? All that all that good stuff. Right, yeah, you know? right, yeah, right. But then you know. We actually have, uh, his name is Play. we have a mm -hmm. performance coach, okay. and I think uh, we're actually one of the only teams with performance coach to begin with, and he does a very good job. He, he usually can tell if, if somebody's like not feeling good, and then I think all the players really trust him, so mm -hmm. we can be like really open with it, and any issues we have, we usually re uh, solve it, and for me, it was about just like, he gave me the hard facts, but then, you know, told me like what direction I had to take, mm -hmm. and uh... I got my motivation back. Like I, I knew what I wanted to. Well, I knew like why I wanted to play again. Like and then I just like remember all the all the times that I you know that I was like grinding in amateur scene and I was just like living in my tiny room in Cape Town. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, it's starting stage three. Um, in, like my my thought process changed. Uh, I improved like way faster compared to the first two <laughs> stages, and it's just it's just been like a. Um, I guess uh, good progress ever since. And stage four was a little bit different for you, like like we mentioned, Void. Mm -hmm. You you kind of been switching in. If I'm not mistaken, you, it's Half just enough, yeah, just yeah, between yeah. you two, right? Mm -hmm. There's no one else. Kind of what is what is that like? Was there what, how different or what was there some sort of adjustment for you? Like when you're told, mm -hmm. hey, this is what what we're gonna do, or and why was that you that they kind of made that switch with? Well. From the start, even like when the team first started, we didn't actually have a lot of play like a pool of players to really get. Mm -hmm. So we always like held out on it. But what I always wanted was like a an off tank off tank player that I could just like learn together with and split maps mm -hmm. with because uh, at least for Diva, I, I'm an off tank, but it's like I've been playing Diva for most of it. And Diva is just n about knowing the scenarios and uh, yeah, just like knowing all the scenarios and like knowing exactly what to do as fast as you can. And uh, first. For the stages where I didn't have Void, I would just like, it would be like a all day practice, I'm just scrimming all, like, every single block, and I get home, I'm just like tired, I don't want to even look at Overwatch, right? <laughs> and, and, but, now that I, I got that load off of me, it's like, when he's playing, I'm usually looking at the, I'm just like watching over my replays mm -hmm. of like, what I could do better, and just like, constantly just like, thinking about, you know, what I, like, how can I make this more efficient, how can I like, maybe like, uh, our Shaz can be here, maybe Goose can be here, like, all these like, little things, Helps so much for Diva, and so it was honestly just like the more time you spend studying, right. the better you got. Well, and uh, that style really worked for, uh, well, really well. Uh, that style worked really well for me because um, I could just do all these like small things that people don't even like don't have time to like look for. Mm -hmm. uh, I could do it because I had Boyd too. You know, Boyd had my back. Um, and what 
Was there anything different you learned having him kind of in the... Yeah, we, actually have, they a, kind of come in for we actually have a pretty different style. I usually try to help out what our team needs, but... Mm-hmm. Unintentionally, like Boyd sometimes like can't doesn't like doesn't understand what's right, going on. Right, right. So he he like does the best thing he can do, and he usually just commits to it. For me, I just go like, oh, I'm just doing my own stuff. But my team's asking for something, I might just like get distracted. Even though right, right. what I was doing was like the best thing that I could have done, I'm always just like because I hear everything. I'm just like shit. Maybe I should go help my my right. teammate, and then I end up being in this like weird situation where I'm already like too far to actually help my teammate. But then I just like gave up on this like kill that I hundred percent would have gone right. if I just. Did that so, uh, but boy always like, if he if he knew, if he like decided oh, what to do, he would just fucking he would, like do that. He would like do it and when then, it crosses his mind. Yeah, that's, and, that's his, and his, his his mechanics is amazing. I would I would probably say it's like top three. He has probably has, like top three mechanics in Overwatch League from our role. So, uh, and that thing that's like not something I can just like copy. But mm-hmm. I you know it's like nice having somebody. It's nice to look at like, um, what I can do better without having the mechanics to really hold, uh, help out. Because, personally, I don't I don't really like to grind in games that much. Void literally will play, like, six hours of solo queue a day. It's, it's crazy. He, he, like, goes to bed at, like, 4 a.m. He's a very hard worker. Uh, but I honestly can't do that. Like, I get... For me, if I just keep playing... I, uh, mm-hmm. The reason why I stopped playing competitive games, to uh, competitive mode to a lot to begin with, was because, like, I would, I would get really bad habits in playing solo queue. Right, right, right. I would just, like... Um, you know, they're not Overwatch League players, they're, they're going to make so many mistakes, I'm just like, of course I'm punishing you're it. Trying to, you're trying to experiment. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, but like, <laughs> but the issue is when I started practicing a lot, or I, I thought I was practicing a lot more, mm-hmm. I, I got worse, because I would like, um, just like do things that are, that, that uh, I don't know how to like explain it, but I would just like react to what I would do in solo queue, like mm-hmm. I would do in solo queue, and obviously... Like, sometimes uh, better teams, like, use that as uh, bait or something, and I would just, like, take it every time. And uh, so I was just like, all right, I'm just not... I, I know I knew exactly how to get better, like, throughout stage three or four. I was like, I just need to not play solo queue as much. Like, in, every now and then, playing deathmatch or something mm-hmm. like that, just to get my mechanics, like, pretty decent as a professional, of course. Like, you, you, there's, like, right, a, right. there's, like, a threshold. <laughs> yeah, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't, you can't get below that. And, but, so I just keep it there, and I just, like, try to... Um, just optimize what I can do better in, in like, okay. in maths. And, um, I had another question for you. Oh, I was looking at your Twitter, mm-hmm. and I saw you were, you, you were playing League of Legends at one point. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, are you still playing that at all? Or? No, not at all. To be honest, this is, like, a uh, few reasons. It's, it's, like, one, obviously, it's, like, I just don't have enough time anymore. Mm-hmm. Two, a lot of, um, unfortunate things happened in my League of Legends career, yeah. and I just, like, I played that game for, like, four or five years, like four and a half years, I think, and uh, like so many like bad stuff happened, like like some shady org. Uh, okay. Like, like mm-hmm. one time I just didn't read my contract well enough. Like all all those like bad stuff happened to me, and after after the last unfortunate event, I just like literally lost any love I had for that game. I love that game too. I, mm-hmm. I was like literally, I was like breathing, living and breathing that game, and I just I just didn't want any part of it anymore, and. Was, and coming from from that to coming into Overwatch right. League was like such a big difference because obviously Overwatch didn't have like the biggest competitive scene early on, mm-hmm. but then Overwatch League came it was like <laughs> it was like a, like a completely different scale. And I'm just like wow, this is kind of nice. <laughs> what what is the? I mean, so how did how did that help your mindset, knowing what you went through with League of Legends? Yeah. How did you approach the Overwatch League? I mean, I was I was a kid when I was playing League Pro and amateur. Mm-hmm. Really, it was just like. Uh, I made a lot of mistakes, and I, I stopped, I held myself back from getting better, really, because, uh, back then I had, like, this ego, because, like, I, I, I didn't initially become, like, I didn't, like, have a, I didn't play to go pro. I was a streamer, and I was doing pretty well, mm-hmm. but I was graduating high school, and I was like, do I really want to just, like, not go to college just so I can, like, um, stream? And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Decisions, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I was like, I gotta go pro, and then... But because I was a streamer and everyone was like, used, I was like so used to have, having everyone compliment me because it wasn't pro, like it was mm-hmm. like I said. Right, right, right. And so whenever somebody gave me like critic, like uh, what, anyone like would you know have like some constructive criticism, mm-hmm. not even like bad stuff. Right, like, right. And and that just would not take it. I always had like an excuse. Um, oh, I couldn't do that because X. And I just deflected every single time. And all these ti- all these like they were good advices too. I just would not take it because. Uh, I thought I was, like, better than that, but, so, 
towards the end of my League of Legends career, I mm-hmm. kind of, I just, like, you know, calmed down and became more humble, and I was starting to improve, but just, like, some unfortunate things happened, and I just, like, didn't want any part of it, but uh, when I was, playing, when I was, like, starting Overwatch, and I was kind of, like, saw some potential, mm-hmm. I was like, you know, I can do this. All these, all these pros are, all these Overwatch League pro, or Overwatch pros are just, like, they're either kids or they have no experience going pro. I've, I've done this. I've done this right, for right. so long. Uh, I know exactly what not to do. I know what to do. <laughs> and I decided to, like, seriously go for it when... I, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen to right. Overwatch, but, you know, I kept hearing rumors about Blizzard wanting to, like, really go hard on it. I was like, no, this is something that I can, I can aim for. I can, like, from the start, I can aim to be a pro and have a completely different mindset. I'll improve fast. I'll get my name out there. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I like, never felt lost, I guess. So, like, compared to maybe something like Fortnite, which, as far as I know, doesn't have some sort of... Yeah, I honestly, like, I, I've never personally played Fortnite, so I don't... I just know I that there's some crazy money going on there. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Like, even, like, July... Something about July pool goes yeah. Yeah. Like, what the... F- like, <laughs> for, like, so for me, like, I'm... I'm still trying to figure out Overwatch. Yeah, man, <laughs> and then, yeah, then yeah, they start yeah, this. Sure, so sure. I'm trying to, like, play... I tried to play some Fortnite, and uh-huh. I was like... <laughs> it's just like it's one of those things where you yeah. you're either good at it or you're not. Yeah. But so even for a game like that, where as far as I know, doesn't have a, a big name backing like Overwatch does with Blizzard, is that something that made it made Overwatch League or Overwatch that much more appealing, knowing that there was a name like Blizzard yeah. For me, it? that was like a big reason why I, was, I, I felt relatively like um, safe going like diving right, right, into right, this because right. because like. Before I decided, I'll, I just I, I kind of like throw away everything, and I didn't really have support from my um, like financial support. Like mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. my parents definitely supported me, but right, like right. I I didn't want like financial support because honestly I felt bad. I was like playing pro, which I was trying to go pro in gaming for like three four years, and I'm like telling my parents like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so I was like, I honestly I just I just like used all the money that I made from League, mm-hmm. and then just like you know just invested everything right. into this, and it was a big. It was a big commitment. I was, like, kind of scared, but I was like, you know, this is where I'm going to make it. This is the time I'm going to actually make it, and... Yeah, I'm glad everything panned out well, though. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Like, I'm saying this, but, like, if it didn't work out well and there was no Overwatch League, I would have been screwed, so... If if there was no Overwatch League, would there have been any other game you would consider, like, Counter-Strike or Call of Duty or anything? I don't, I don't think any, so. Any I other? actually, like, instantly fell in love with Overwatch when, it, when I was, like... Because, like... After League, I was like, oh, God, what do I do with my life? And I would just, like, play Overwatch. It was a beta. Uh-huh. I would play okay, Overwatch with my right. friends. And I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. I can just, like, not think about my uh, impending <laughs> doom, I guess. And then just, like, play, just mindlessly play. And it was, like, so fast-paced. I, I loved League, mm-hmm. but I just, like, really liked how fast Overwatch was. And, and like, how communication-reliant the game was. And I was like, this is what I wanted for my game to begin with. It's, mm-hmm. like, your actual team. And so I was like... um, so it didn't, like, take much for me to, like, really enjoy the game and learn fast. And is there anything that you can hmm? kind of look back on the replay and say, hmm, we can still work on this or that? I mean... Oh, yeah, for, for sure. Th- always, always. There's, like, never a single game where we're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was completely flawless. Okay, well, tell me, what what went wrong for you guys today? Not, not necessarily wrong. <laughs> it was just, uh... I actually don't know, because, like, the, the one map that I played for was, was like, really good. I, I know you... You didn't even get a chance to, know, to play twice. I was, was like, so ready to play Hanamura, and our team had to go out of their way, and there was the Rayo. The oh, nerve, they got his... I know, what the heck? You didn't get any rest. consider it. <laughs> I, mean, that, I mean, that's a good... If, if, if you only playing one map is what it... You know, for them to move on. For, for this one, so what is... It's best two out of three? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a, so it's like... You can go up to game five, but it's like best out of uh, best out of five, I guess. But for like, well, for the overall series, though. Oh, oh, um, I'm actually not sure how entirely it works. I I, I asked this morning, and they told me, and I forgot again. <laughs> so <laughs> fair. I mean, that's bad. Yeah, it's so confusing. It, I it's bad, bad on play the game. It's bad on me too because I guess I should have known. I don't blame you. You just yeah. show up. Yeah, I just I just show up and play. Just tell me when to go sit down at a computer, and I'll just go in and play. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, I I've seen some some other videos where. You've said you're more or less a one-trick diva. Is there any other characters that 
Oh, yo, when Hammond comes out, like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. gonna be, like, the best Hammond, so no is, problem. Is Hammond even out? Like, so, I only have the Xbox. Uh, and yeah. I think I've heard, like, PC gamers get everything. Yeah, so, yeah, you is get, like, just out on PC. No, 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 no. you don't what? get it in the, in the live version, the, the official version. You get, everyone gets it at the same time. Well, as the right. Consoles, oh, but no, I gotta update uh, that. There's, like, a, no, 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 it's not out yet. It's, like, oh, on it's the, not, okay. It's on the testing server. Oh, oh so it's a bit, oh. Yeah, yeah, so they, it's, like, Blizzard just puts it on the test server for people to, like, try out if they want to. Right. Oh, so they're still tweaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This seems, like, really good. Have you had your... So you haven't had your... You haven't even had a chance to play? No, I've, I've, I think I have, like, 12 hours of him. Like, I've been, I, I was, he, he's, like, you're such a fun character. <laughs> I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna, like, fuck play off. <laughs> I'm just gonna play this character. <laughs> so, I mean, is is that... Because it almost looks like D.Va in a way, right? With the... Uh, yeah, it's, it's like... It, it's like it's almost like, the same robot kind mm. of deal. It doesn't have two lives. I can, ima- I can, yeah, I can yeah, only imagine a hamster running around. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> I said that on Twitter. Give him a little pistol or something like... Does this like bite people or something? <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, it would be a different element. I yeah, mean, yeah. so what... I mean, we're probably a long ways away from seeing that in the... Oh, yeah, it's like gonna be in like... In like six months, I guess, or five right. months now. Yeah. Well, I mean, what are your? I mean, so the initial thoughts. I mean, what I I've seen some things about it as like it could turn into a rolling ball. Yeah. And what are some of the other features, other things that you? He just has, he's like such a fat character. He's like so crazy fat. Like I can't believe he's a tank. And only thing I'm only thing I'm afraid is that, um, I feel like you're gonna have to play Diva and Wrecking uh mm-hmm. ha- Heaven so. On the same time, two people. Yeah, two people. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how the meta's gonna be, but I like have a feeling that's gonna be like that. So hopefully, boy, please, people. That gets sense. Somebody yeah, yeah, have yeah, to yeah. sit down and talk to them about that, huh? Mm-hmm. Um. So tell me. I mean, we're with the this last meta. I'm still learning all the uh, terms and stuff myself. The meta started stage four, I believe. Yeah, I mean the so the playoff with Brig- Brigitte. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone says it differently, right? Yeah. Brigitte. Or... You just say Brig. <laughs> you just say Brig or B, whichever. But um, yeah, it's like the playoff meta and the, and the stage four meta is like slightly different just because did of Hanzo. Did even that change again? Yeah, yeah. So we had, we had a, a big change. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, so there was another. So there's been another. Yeah. Meta so there, every like basically playoff. stage, and I okay. guess I would consider yeah, playoff. Right, right, right. Okay. There's like a new patch. Oh, so. okay. I that's kind of weird. Then I had so. How would you compare the the playoff meta compared to the stage four? I mean, you guys are just starting starting with that today, but to be honest, I'm not like too big of a fan because Hanzo is like so busted. Hanzo is so busted, and like you're supposed to be, you're like a diva just gets like destroyed in two seconds. Like I, just so the diva, <laughs> there's like a you have a you have like a certain amount of window, mm-hmm. how many like x seconds before you have to get out. And that went from like four to five seconds to like two seconds, so you can't even like do much. So when when you want to like, when our when your team's pushing in, and there's like a Hanzo here and a Widow here, and and, <laughs> yeah. and you can't even the worst part is you can't even kill them because they're too strong. Right. So you can you have to like put like you have, you have to go up to them so they can't they shoot you into the team. Mm-hmm. So you're still taking damage, <laughs> and then and then it's like okay I'm gonna go and you like try your best to like live uh, while you like run away. <laughs> Just trying to make your it team. out alive. Yeah, basically that's like how it feels to be honest. If you had a chance to uh, see an improvement in any other character, much like we're you know like you mentioned with Hanzo and whatnot, what would that character be? Uh, now, other than Diva, maybe. Uh, I mean, like Diva's honestly pretty okay. I think she's been uh, like a pretty good place ever since her rocket nerf. So I would probably say like maybe Monkey could have used some love. Um, I think. In what way? In what way? Probably just like. More survivability because right now a lot of a lot of comps just like absolutely destroy monkey, but you know I guess that's why there are metas like just mm-hmm. certain better characters and certain metas. But um, hmm. yeah, only thing only thing I can really think of is like maybe Zenyatta's is still a little too strong and Hanzo just needs something needs to change to Hanzo, but Hanzo dude like now um, kind of going off of that again is probably my last question. If you had the opportunity to make or put together the perfect character. Oh, yeah, there's what never going to be a perfect character. But for, uh, for your style of play. My style? Actually, it would be pretty much heaven. Like, I, I was always thinking, like, oh, I really want, like... Because D.Va is pretty mobile, right? The mm-hmm. thing. And I was like, oh, I just really want, like, a, like a 
character that I would play that's also like, you know, super fast style, uh, fast pace, and then has like high skill caps, and bam, there was a cabinet, so I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> this is right in my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thanks for your time. Yeah, I appreciate no problem, it. Man. Congrats on the win. Thanks for the interview. No worries. You have a good one. And there you have it, my interview with Bishu. Once again, thanks for the time, Bishu, for sitting down to talk to me. Congrats on the win for not only you, but for your team. Um, one thing I liked about that interview was that he brings a lot of energy, and you know that energy carries over on the stage when he's communicating with his teammates. If he sees something, he'll be the first one to say something. So again, thank you, Bishu, and I look forward to what the Gladiators are able to do um, in the rest of this quarterfinal series and potentially in the next round of the Overwatch League playoffs. With that said, I am James Williams. I want to thank you guys once again for listening, and I hope you guys have a great day.